it was truly critical to be engaged in a discussion with the ICA, bringing the expertise of uh, different disciplines in the field of liver cancer to share thoughts and to share results of clinical trials and to try to work together in the same direction of improving patient care in this uh, very important area of research. Interventional oncologists are a critical uh, component of the multidisciplinary team of HEC management. We can offer cure for patients with early stage disease when uh, surgery is precluded. We can offer palliation with a variety of transcatheter therapies. I had the privilege to co-chair uh, with the Dr. Lovett, the ECIO meets ECA. The session it exemplifies the multidisciplinary approach of HCC management. I think that uh, Professor Gale beautifully reviewed all the data we have at this point in combination, key embolization serafinib. Particularly randomized data are lacking, so it's not on safe ground to come to conclusions here. However, what can be um, uh, taken from these studies is that there is uh, the demonstration of feasibility. It seems to be safe to combine. Professor Lencioni provides us with a very nice overview of the two important trials that are currently ongoing. One uh, already finalized, the HIT trial, and also one trial that is uh, a hope for patients with HCC is the trial that was published in phase two in Nature Medicine with oncolytic virus. And I think it's a very important trial that is moving to phase three. Also, Professor Bruno Sangro gave us an overview of his uh, impression on how uh, Ethium 90 can have a niche in the management of patients with HCC. I was requested to answer this question, whether there is room for radiomolization in, in the treatment of HCC. With all the information, so, so I'll come back to the answer. I think the answer is yes. Are we already there or are we about to go? This is uh, probably a matter of debate. And then I tried to provide uh, new insights on the pathogenesis of HCC, drivers of the disease, and novel molecular target therapies, particularly introducing the concept of oncogenic addiction loops and how during the last 15 years there have been new drugs changing completely the management of other cancers and I think this should come to HCC as well. We are truly looking forward to having even a broader armamentarium of interventional oncology procedures available for patients with liver cancer in the near future and to, to more and more information to become available at the next ECIOs.